20 Bizarre Customs in Nepal Where Women Suffer Number 20. Expelling Women from Homes During Menstruation In Nepal, women continue to face severe discrimination, and one of the most shocking practices is the tradition of chapati, where women are banished from their homes during menstruation. This ancient Hindu custom, which has persisted for centuries, considers menstruating women to be impure. Women and even girls who have reached puberty are forced to live in isolation during their menstrual cycle. During this time, they are prohibited from touching kitchen utensils, sharing water sources with their family, attending school, or even staying in their homes. Instead, they are sent to makeshift huts, sometimes livestock sheds, or temporary shelters. These shelters often lack essential amenities and offer no protection from wild animals, insects, or poisonous snakes. Living in isolation in remote areas exposes women to a high risk of attacks or other dangers. Moreover, poor sanitary conditions make them vulnerable to infections and respiratory diseases. The practice is especially harmful to their physical and emotional well-being. After their menstrual cycle ends, women must purify themselves by bathing in cow urine, as local beliefs hold that only cow urine is pure enough to cleanse them of their impurity. Despite efforts by the Nepalese government to ban chapati, this tradition continues in certain rural areas, perpetuating hardship and danger for many women. Number 19. Polyandry Polyandry, the practice where one woman has multiple husbands, is still found in some northern regions of Nepal. This unique marital system emerged due to the scarcity of arable land. If land were divided among all sons, each would receive only a small and insufficient portion, making farming extremely difficult in regions where the terrain is harsh and winters are long. To avoid this, the tradition of polyandry, where one woman marries multiple brothers, was developed to keep the family land intact and manage limited resources more effectively. This arrangement also helps regulate the number of children in the family, as a woman with multiple husbands will typically have fewer children than if each man had a separate wife. Locals see this as a practical solution to economic challenges, ensuring that families can share responsibilities and resources. One interesting aspect of polyandry is that the woman must divide her attention equally among her husbands, even if she favors one over the others. This creates a unique dynamic where a wife must carefully manage her relationships to maintain harmony within the household. While polyandry is extremely rare worldwide, in some remote areas of Nepal, it is still practiced as a way to adapt to challenging environmental and social conditions. Number 18. High Rate of Child Marriage in Nepal, child marriage remains a significant issue, particularly in rural and conservative areas. Despite efforts to ban it, many parents still arrange marriages for their children, often driven by cultural or economic reasons. Alarmingly, girls as young as 12 are often married off, with estimates suggesting that around 40% of girls in Nepal marry before the age of 18. Child marriage has devastating effects on young girls. Once married, they are often forced into early childbirth, which poses serious health risks. Without access to education, many girls are trapped in cycles of poverty and abuse, with few opportunities for escape. For some families, marrying off their daughters at a young age is seen as a way to avoid the risk of them being trafficked or exploited, as unmarried girls may face the danger of being sold into prostitution. While the legal age of marriage in Nepal is 20, in practice, this law is frequently ignored, especially in rural areas where traditional customs dominate. Many girls elope with their lovers to escape forced marriages or the pressures of poverty and household chores. In some cases, early marriages occur due to unintended pregnancies, and couples marry secretly to avoid social stigma. Child marriage in Nepal is not just a cultural issue, but also a reflection of the severe economic and social challenges these young girls face. Number 17. Fruit Marriage One of the most intriguing and unique customs in Nepal is the tradition of fruit marriage, practiced by the Niwar community. Every young Niwar girl is required to undergo three marriages in her lifetime, and the first one is with a fruit known as bell, wood apple. This symbolic ceremony, known as bell bibaha, is performed when the girl is around nine years old, just before she reaches puberty. The fruit represents the god Shiva, and this marriage is believed to protect the girl from future misfortunes. The second marriage is to the son, known as Gufarakni, which occurs after the girl reaches puberty, 
and the third is her actual marriage to a human husband later in life. The Bell marriage is considered sacred, and if a woman's human husband dies, she is not considered a widow because she is always symbolically married to Shiva. This tradition grants women a certain degree of social protection and independence. Interestingly, this custom also acts as a safeguard against child marriage, as girls who undergo Bell Bibaha are less likely to face pressure to marry early. The Newar community believes this spiritual connection empowers girls and protects them from potential societal discrimination and threats. This fascinating cultural tradition continues to be a significant part of the Newar people's lives, blending religious and social significance into a single rite of passage. Number 16. The World's Most Dangerous Airport Nepal is home to one of the most perilous airports in the world, Lukla Airport, also known as the Gateway to Mount Everest. This airport's runway is notoriously short and is perched on the edge of a cliff, with one end of the runway facing a steep drop into the valley below. The treacherous combination of unpredictable weather, limited visibility, and challenging mountainous terrain makes landing here a heart-pounding experience for both pilots and passengers. The airport primarily serves mountaineers and trekkers heading to Everest Base Camp, making it a vital yet dangerous transportation hub. Due to the mountainous terrain and harsh weather conditions, only small planes can fly to and from Lukla, further increasing the risk. Poor weather conditions often lead to flight cancellations or dangerous landings, and accidents have tragically occurred over the years. The Civil Aviation Authority of Nepal has reported that planes with fewer than 19 seats are more vulnerable in these high-risk flights. Lukla Airport's extreme location and challenging runway design have earned it the title of the world's most dangerous airport. Despite these risks, many adventurers are drawn to the airport each year as they embark on their journey to conquer Everest. Number 15. The Living Goddess Kumari In Nepal, the tradition of the Kumari, meaning virgin goddess, holds a unique place in both Hindu and Buddhist cultures. The Kumari is considered a living goddess, believed to be the incarnation of the Hindu goddess Talaju. Young girls, typically between the ages of two and four, are chosen to become Kumari through a rigorous selection process based on physical and spiritual qualities. Once selected, the Kumari resides in a palace known as the Kumari Gar in Kathmandu and plays a central role in religious festivals and ceremonies. During these festivals, the Kumari is dressed in elaborate traditional attire and adorned with colorful garments. It is believed that she possesses supernatural powers, including the ability to grant wishes, heal the sick, and bless her devotees. However, this sacred role comes with a strict life of isolation. The Kumari is rarely allowed to leave her palace, and when she does, she must be carried, as her feet cannot touch the ground. The Kumari's divine status lasts only until she reaches puberty, at which point she relinquishes her role and returns to normal life. The former Kumari is honored and receives a lifelong allowance from the Nepalese government as a token of gratitude for her service. The tradition of the living goddess Kumari is one of the most mystical and revered customs in Nepal, symbolizing purity, divine power, and spiritual connection with the divine world. Number 14. Nepal's Sacred Cow Culture In Nepal, cows hold a deeply sacred status in both Hindu and Buddhist traditions. Revered as symbols of life, prosperity, and divine beings, cows are considered to be embodiments of the goddess Lakshmi in Hinduism, which is the dominant religion in the country. This spiritual reverence ensures that cows roam freely in the streets of Nepal, and harming or killing a cow is strictly forbidden. In fact, it is illegal to slaughter cows in Nepal, and those who do can face severe legal penalties. The cultural significance of cows is reflected in daily life, as people believe that caring for and protecting cows brings blessings, good fortune, and prosperity to the family. Feeding cows and showing them kindness is seen as a virtuous act that pleases the gods. Cows are often found wandering freely, even in busy urban areas like Kathmandu, where they are treated with respect and given priority on the roads. This deep reverence for cows is not just a religious symbol, but also a reflection of the strong connection between nature, animals, and humans in Nepalese culture. The cow, as a sacred animal, plays a vital role in the spiritual, cultural and economic life of the country, making it one of the most recognizable and respected creatures in Nepal. Number 13. 
Elephant Polo, Nepal's unique sport. Elephant Polo is one of Nepal's most unusual and captivating sports, drawing both local and international attention. Played much like traditional polo, but with the riders mounted on elephants rather than horses, this sport offers a unique combination of athletic skill and the majestic power of these giant animals. The game takes place annually in Nepal, with teams from around the world participating in the event which has become a significant part of the country's tourism culture. The sight of players expertly maneuvering elephants, maintaining balance, and hitting the ball with long mallets creates a spectacle that is unlike any other sport in the world. It is not just a test of the players' abilities, but also of their coordination with the elephants, which are trained to participate in the game. While elephant polo has attracted enthusiastic spectators from around the globe, it has also been the subject of controversy regarding the treatment of elephants used in the sport. Animal welfare groups have raised concerns about the well-being of the elephants, leading to increased scrutiny in recent years. Despite these concerns, elephant polo remains one of the most unique and memorable experiences for tourists visiting Nepal, offering a glimpse into a sport that blends tradition, tourism, and spectacle. Number 12. Adventure Sports Tourism Nepal is a paradise for thrill-seekers and adventure sports enthusiasts. Known as the roof of the world due to its towering peaks, including the 8,848-meter 8 high Mount Everest, Nepal offers an array of adrenaline-pumping activities that attract adventurers from across the globe. The country's rugged landscape, with its steep mountains, deep valleys, and rushing rivers, provides the perfect setting for some of the world's most challenging and exciting sports. Visitors to Nepal can enjoy an extensive range of outdoor activities, including mountain climbing, trekking through dense jungles, whitewater rafting, paragliding, and even bungee jumping from dizzying heights. For many, the ultimate challenge is the trek to Everest Base Camp, a demanding journey that takes trekkers through breathtaking Himalayan scenery and high-altitude environments. Other notable treks include the Annapurna Circuit and the Langtang Valley. In addition to trekking and mountaineering, Nepal is also famous for its unique river rafting experiences, especially in the wild waters of the Trishulai and Boat Koshi rivers. Kayaking and canoeing enthusiasts are drawn to Nepal's pristine rivers, while bungee jumping and zip lining provide heart-pounding experiences for those looking for extreme thrills. For adventure lovers, Nepal is a dream destination, offering unparalleled opportunities to explore its natural beauty while pushing their physical limits in some of the most spectacular landscapes on Earth. Number 11. The Mysterious Sky Caves of Nepal Nepal is home to a fascinating archaeological wonder, the Sky Caves of Mustang. These ancient caves, carved high into the cliffs of the remote Mustang region, have captured the imagination of explorers and archaeologists alike. Dating back over a thousand years, these caves are perched at dizzying heights, some as high as 155 feet above the valley floor, and are filled with ancient treasures, including religious manuscripts, murals, and human remains. The purpose of these caves remains a mystery. Some were used as meditation retreats by monks, while others may have served as burial chambers or safe havens for people during times of conflict. The Kingdom of Mustang, once a thriving trade route between Tibet and India, was home to a vibrant and unique culture which is still reflected in the artifacts found within these caves. The remote location and difficulty in accessing these caves have helped preserve their contents for centuries. Researchers and adventurers continue to explore these sky caves, seeking answers about their origin, how people managed to carve them into the sheer cliffs, and what secrets they might still hold. For those visiting Nepal, the sky caves of Mustang offer a glimpse into the region's ancient history and an opportunity to witness one of the world's most mysterious and awe-inspiring archaeological sites. Number 10. Nepal's Festivals of Color One of the most vibrant and joyful celebrations in Nepal is the Holi Festival, also known as the Festival of Colors. Holi is a celebration of the arrival of spring, and it symbolizes the victory of good over evil. During this festival, people of all ages take to the streets, throwing brightly colored powders and water at each other, creating a kaleidoscope of color and joy. It's a time when social barriers fall away, and everyone, regardless of age, class, or status, comes together to celebrate. 
Holi is celebrated with great enthusiasm, especially in Kathmandu and other major cities in Nepal. Laughter fills the air as people chase one another with handfuls of vibrant powder, drenching each other in water, and dancing in the streets. Traditional songs and dances are performed, and families gather to share special meals and sweets, adding to the festive spirit. While Holi is originally a Hindu festival, it has grown to become a symbol of unity and joy for all, including international tourists who flock to Nepal to experience the lively and colorful celebration firsthand. Participating in Holi in Nepal is an unforgettable experience, offering a deep sense of connection to the local culture and the spirit of joy and renewal that defines this festival. Number 9. The Legend of the Yeti The Yeti, often referred to as the Abominable Snowman, is one of the most famous and enduring legends of Nepal, believed to inhabit the snowy peaks of the Himalayas. According to folklore, the Yeti is a large, ape-like creature, standing between 6 to 10 feet tall, with reddish-brown or grayish fur. It is said to walk upright like a human and leave enormous footprints in the snow. Despite numerous expeditions and searches for the Yeti, concrete evidence of its existence remains elusive. Over the years, many explorers, climbers, and local villagers have claimed to have spotted the Yeti or found its footprints in remote, high-altitude areas. However, no definitive proof, such as clear photographs or remains, has been discovered. The Yeti continues to fascinate people worldwide, with its legend adding an element of mystery and intrigue to the already majestic Himalayas. Whether the Yeti is real or simply a product of local myth, its story is deeply woven into the cultural fabric of Nepal and remains a source of fascination for adventurers and scientists alike. Number 8. Nepal's Vibrant Tea Culture Nepal is known not only for its mountains but also for its rich tea culture. The lush tea plantations spread across the hilly regions of the country, especially in areas like Ilam and Dankuta, produce some of the world's finest teas. Nepalese tea, both black and green, is highly sought after for its delicate flavor and distinctive aroma. Tea is more than just a beverage in Nepal. It's a cultural ritual that brings people together. For locals, tea is enjoyed several times a day, often served with milk and sugar, creating a comforting, aromatic drink. Visitors to Nepal can enjoy the experience of not only drinking the tea but also learning about the tea-making process. Tourists can visit the picturesque tea plantations, where they can see how tea is grown, harvested, and processed, often participating in tea tastings with the farmers themselves. Tea culture in Nepal is a reflection of the strong connection between the land and its people, with each cup symbolizing the care and craftsmanship that goes into producing this beloved beverage. For tea lovers, Nepal offers an unforgettable experience of enjoying tea against the backdrop of the beautiful Himalayas. Number 7. Nepal has never been invaded. Nepal proudly holds the distinction of being one of the few countries in the world that has never been invaded or colonized. Despite being sandwiched between two powerful neighbors, India and China, Nepal has managed to maintain its sovereignty throughout history. While many countries in the region experienced colonization, such as India under British rule, Nepal skillfully navigated its way through complex geopolitical situations to preserve its independence. One of the reasons for Nepal's success in avoiding foreign domination is its challenging mountainous terrain, which made invasion difficult. Additionally, Nepal's skilled diplomacy and its strategic importance to larger powers contributed to its ability to remain autonomous. Nepal never had to celebrate an Independence Day because it never lost its freedom, a fact that many Nepalese take great pride in. In 2008, Nepal transitioned from a monarchy to a federal democratic republic, marking a significant moment in its history. The country's resilience and determination to remain independent continue to be celebrated as a symbol of its strong national identity. Number 6. Nepal's Peculiar Time Zone Nepal is unique not only for its geography and culture but also for its time zone. Unlike most countries that use whole or half-hour time zones, Nepal stands out by being 45 minutes ahead of the more common time standard. Nepal Standard Time NST, is set at UTC plus 545, making it distinct from neighboring countries like India, which follows UTC plus 530. 
This quirky time difference was officially established in 1956. The decision to set Nepal's time zone 15 minutes ahead of India was made by Nepalese lawmakers who wanted the country to have its own unique identity. This small time difference has become a point of pride for many Nepalese, symbolizing their independence from larger powers. Some even humorously claim that Nepal is always ahead of its neighbors, even if it's just by 15 minutes. In addition to this, Nepal also uses a unique calendar, known as the Bikram Sambat, which is about 56 years ahead of the Gregorian calendar used in the West. For example, while it may be 2024 in most parts of the world, it is the year 2080 in Nepal according to the Bikram Sambat calendar. This peculiar time zone and calendar add to the distinctive charm of the country, making Nepal a fascinating destination for those who enjoy cultural quirks. Number 5. Shamanism in the Himalayas Shamanism, or traditional spiritual healing practices, remains a significant part of Nepal's indigenous culture, especially in remote Himalayan regions. Shamans, known as Dami or Jankri, are believed to have the power to connect with the spiritual world and heal both physical and mental ailments. They are thought to communicate with the spirits of ancestors, diagnose supernatural causes of illness, and perform rituals to ward off evil forces. Shamans use various tools such as drums, chants, and herbs during their rituals, which can be dramatic and mystical. Healing ceremonies often take place during religious festivals, and visitors to rural villages may even witness these ancient practices. For many people in these communities, shamans are not only healers, but also spiritual guides who help maintain harmony between the physical and spiritual worlds. Shamanism in Nepal has been practiced for thousands of years, and despite modernization and the spread of formal medicine, it continues to play a significant role in the lives of many people, especially in the more remote and less accessible regions of the country. Number 3. Nepal, the birthplace of Lord Buddha. Nepal is the birthplace of Siddhartha Gautama, who later became known as the Buddha, the founder of Buddhism. He was born in 623 BC in the small village of Lumbini, located in southern Nepal near the border with India. Today, Lumbini is one of the most important pilgrimage sites for Buddhists from around the world, recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site for its historical and religious significance. The Mayadevi Temple in Lumbini marks the exact spot where Queen Mayadevi gave birth to Buddha. Surrounding the temple is a beautiful sacred garden filled with ancient monasteries, stupas, and archaeological remains dating back more than 2,000 years. Lumbini attracts thousands of visitors annually who come to pay homage to the Buddha and experience the peaceful, spiritual atmosphere of this sacred site. As the birthplace of one of history's greatest spiritual leaders, Nepal holds a special place in the hearts of millions of Buddhists and remains a significant cultural and religious landmark. Number 2. Ethnic Diversity in Nepal Nepal is one of the most culturally and ethnically diverse countries in the world. Despite its relatively small geographic size, it is home to over 80 distinct ethnic groups, each with its own language, customs, and traditions. Among the most prominent ethnic groups are the Sherpas, Gurungs, Magars, Tamangs, and Niwars, each contributing to the rich tapestry of Nepal's cultural identity. Nepal's diversity is reflected in its festivals, cuisine, music, dance, and traditional clothing. The Sherpas, for instance, are famous for their mountaineering skills and their deep connection to the high Himalayan peaks. The Niwars, concentrated in the Kathmandu Valley, are known for their vibrant festivals, artistic craftsmanship, and historical architecture. Different ethnic groups often follow different religious practices, with Hinduism and Buddhism being the two dominant religions. This harmonious coexistence of numerous cultures has helped Nepal maintain a unique blend of traditions, making it a fascinating destination for those looking to explore a wide range of cultural experiences in one country. Number 1. The only country in the world without a rectangular flag. Nepal boasts a truly unique national flag. It is the only flag in the world that is not rectangular or square. Instead, Nepal's flag consists of two overlapping triangular pennants. The crimson-red color represents the national flower, the rhododendron, as well as the bravery of the Nepalese people, while the blue border symbolizes peace. 
The flag's design also reflects the harmony between the two dominant religions in Nepal, Hinduism and Buddhism. The crescent moon at the top signifies the calm and coolness of the Himalayas, while the sun at the bottom represents the heat of the southern plains. This non-rectangular flag is a source of great pride for Nepalese, symbolizing both their cultural identity and their resilience as a nation. The flag's unique shape is said to represent the Himalayas and Nepal's desire to stand out as a distinct and independent country. It is one of the most instantly recognizable national flags in the world, making Nepal truly stand apart not just geographically, but also symbolically on the global stage.